Welcome to our brief online tour of the new Comstar Advanced Spam Filter. When you initially log into the Spam Filter, you arrive at the control panel, which is where you are able to perform many common tasks, including changing your spam handling, your email notification, your whitelist, your blacklists, and you can view your quarantine. Now, another way to view your quarantine is to click on the menu item up at the top called Messages. And you'll be taken to a screen where you'll see a list of all of your junk mail. This list can be as short as 10 messages long, or it can be as long as 250 messages. You have the choice uh, to control that yourself. From this screen, you can also mark emails and either release them to your inbox or delete them. You can also click into the email itself to read the message as well as delete and release or reply or forward. You also have the ability to add the sender to your whitelist and a new feature is the ability to add the subject matter of the email, the subject line, to your whitelist. Another key feature of the new filter is that you can search all quarantine mail by many criteria, including who it is to, uh, who it's from, the subject over a date range, and including the deleted and released messages. You also have a message queue, which is used when your email server is out of commission for a period of time. The email that comes through your filter is all collected and held here and it can be managed, replied, and forwarded from here as well so that while your email server is down, your email services will continue. We call it continuity. You also have the ability in the preferences to adjust the spam filter's aggressiveness and also to address other more detailed uh, items in the spam handling settings, your options, your settings, and advanced settings. The aggressiveness is changed by a sliding scale, very simple to use. You have your whitelist, your blacklist. You also have digests and notifications. Once a day, by default, you'll receive an email that advises you of the spam in your filter. You can then either release it directly from that email or you can also add the sender to your whitelist from that email. The digests, as they are called, can be set to arrive typically at 8 a.m. every day, but you can also set a second and a third message to come to you at different times of the day to remind you to check your spam filter. You also have account settings for language and time, message settings, to uh, help you control the messages as they come in. And you can change your password as well. There are also a series of reports that you can choose to generate. We'll look at the last seven days for this account. It takes just a moment. And you then see a graph of the email, the spam, and the virus that have been caught, as well as a list and a reporting of all of the spam virus and good messages that you received over a period of time. You can also look at a virus report and you can tell what kind of viruses uh, and the amount of viruses I should say that have been uh, trapped in the system over that particular given amount of time. There is also a very uh, robust support mechanism within the software itself uh, where you can uh, look at an overview, uh, get the basics on email filtering, and setting your preferences. Thank you for joining us for this short tour. Um, we'd like you to know that if you'd like some more information, you can give us a call at 262-953-6000, or if you'd like us to set you up for the new filter, again, give us a call at 262-953-6000. Thank you again for taking this tour.